Hi everyone, it's Veronica from Blue Star Crochet. In today's video tutorial, I would like to teach you how to work the half double slip stitch. This is a great stitch, as you can see, it's really simple to make and creates this beautiful crochet fabric. Um, it's got these little loops um, that it puts on every single row. As you can see, it's completely reversible. It looks the same at the front and at the back. And I really like how the extra loop, which you have on your hook with half double crochet, it kind of creates these um, little loops and little ridges on your stitch. If you kind of look at it from, um, yeah, from this um, view, you can see how those loops um, kind of create um, ridges in your crochet fabric so this would be a really nice stitch you could possibly use for crochet ribbing um, rather than placing the stitch into the top of the stitches you could actually work it through the back loop only which would then uh, bring out bring out these ridges even more so um, let's get into today's tutorial and i will show you how to work the um, half double slip stitch so we're going to start um, our foundation chain and i'm just going to simply start with the um, slip knot um, for the half double slip stitch, you will need um, basically multiples of one, just however many stitches you need for the project you're making. Uh, plus, you need to add one extra stitch uh, because we're going to be starting in the um, second chain from the hook. So if you need um, 10 um, half double slip stitches, then you would chain 11 and so on. So let's go ahead and just chain a few. I'm not making any any project in particular, so I can just go ahead and chain a few stitches and start in a second chain from the hook. So here we go. Um, as I said, I'm going to start, I'm going to skip the first stitch and I'm going to start in a second um, chain from the hook. And to work the half double slip stitch, uh, we will need to yarn over first. So the classic slip stitch, you will kind of just go straight into the chain, pull up a loop and then pull it through. But with the half double slip stitch, that's the beauty of it, that you need to start working the half double crochet. But then we're going to finish it off as a slip stitch. So um, I have actually changed into a different yarn because my original choice was a little bit splitty. So um, I want to show you properly uh, how to pull the loops through and um, um, splitty yarn wasn't the best for it. So um, let's get into row one. So we're going to start working the half double crochet um, stitch, but we are going to finish it off as a slip stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to place my hook into second chain from the stitch. So we're going to miss the first one. Then I'm going to pull up a loop. And as you can see, this gives you three loops on a hook as a standard half double crochet. But to work the half double slip stitch, we're going to pull this first loop through the second and third loop. So I've got the three loops on the hook and as you can see, I'm just going to kind of pull the first loop through the other two like this. So let's work the second half double slip stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to insert the hook into the next chain and pull up a loop, which gives you three loops on a hook and I'm going to pull the first loop through the other two, like this. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. You've got three loops on a hook and you simply pull the first one through the second and through the third, like this. So one more time, we're gonna yarn over we're going to insert the hook into the next chain and pull up a loop, which gives us three loops on a hook. 
and to work the half double slip stitch I'm going to pull the first loop through the second and through the third so I'm going to pull it through and pull it through the last one so that's basically how you work a half double half double slip stitch um, you will basically go to the end of the foundation chain and to start the second row I'm going to go back to this sample because this is slightly bigger so you'll probably be um, able to see a little bit better so these are a few rows worked up together so to start um, say the second third fourth row any other additional row you would simply chain one <clears throat> you need to chain one and I'm going to yarn over and go into the top of the stitch pull up a loop I've got three on a hook and I simply pull the first one through the second and through the third okay so this is basically how you work the half double crochet half double slip stitch by pulling the first loop through the second and through the third just like that you could um as i said you could uh change it up a bit and you could actually work through the back loop only so you would yarn over go through back loop only of the stitch and finish it off as a slip stitch um, and this will then kind of give you that extra um, texture on the fabric you could use it as as a ribbon um, <clears throat> instead of single crochet through back loop only you could do the half double crochet slip stitch like this if I work up a few okay so that then gives you kind of extra um extra loops there so there we go that's the um half double slip stitch um you can use for various projects um it could just be a simple blanket you can use it for um sweaters cardigans it's a really versatile stitch that's really good to know so i hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial uh, if you would like to check out more of my videos on youtube don't forget to subscribe while you're here and i've got more free crochet patterns and resources on my blog bluestarcrochet.com so i would love for you to um, check them out give us a follow or subscribe to the newsletter thank you for watching